and solid win there for Team Impulse. Uh, as uh, Kobe mentioned, same old strategies from Impulse, but uh, it's a strategy so really. Just fight them all over yeah. and over again. I love, that's I like that's my strategy. <laughs> it's a strategy, right? Yeah, it's a uh, play style. Exactly. All right, so same old play style, but some new champions coming in, right? We saw the um, you know the Fizz in the mid lane as opposed to top lane. Yasuo now moved to the top lane. Evelyn in the jungle and Alistar coming in at support. They just have that staple there in Apollo on the Sivir, of course. Uh, but it is nice to see. Uh, the champion pools expand and them sticking with a play style that very much worked for them in the last split. Yeah, it's a crazy edge for them too because that flex pick of the Fizz and the Yasuo, that was all over the place because they got invaded level one and Yasuo still did really well despite not getting that camp at the start. And we did see a Yasuo in the LCK played by Sasamday on KT Rolsters up against a Nar. And he also went with an HP item very early on. He got the Giants belt, which he turns into a Randuins, but the Bami Cinder... Maybe eventual sun, uh, Sunfire Cape, but the fact that you get that HP item is actually really good because so it allows you. You're saying it was all planned? I'm, th I'm saying it's all planned. Consider? I think it's absolutely fine. <laughs> because you trade, instead of a yeah. Giant's Belt, you trade 80 HP for 5 plus your yeah. level in magic damage in AoE. And he's trying to get in the middle of the fights. So he's trying a little to get bit of tankiness. Yeah. yeah, the thing I liked about it in particular is just how he just shoved up the lane again and again on Yasuo. Yep. And because of some decent warding and timing by Rush's Evelyn, he just was always able to be in the right place at the right time as far as shoving and when to back up. And honestly, Yasuo, like, in the top lane, that's the lane where he's best, right? Yeah. Like, people keep bashing their heads into the wall with mid lane Yasuo. Everyone says, oh, yeah, it's a bad pick. Yasuo is science, all these things. Yasuo is pretty good in the top lane in the right situation. Yeah, as you mentioned, actually, when the pick was locked in, uh, the fact that Nar's auto range is fairly short. So yep. although he's at a range disadvantage, his ability to dash in as soon as Nar comes in for any amount of harass uh, is still there. So it really isn't that much of a disadvantage to be up against a ranged champion there in the top lane. Yeah, and he can block the boomerang with the wind wall, and then he doesn't get the cooldown reduction from picking the boomerang back up. So it's actually a pretty good matchup, and you exploit mini Nar even further than it is already a weak state for Nar to be in. And you saw that. Level 1, he hit level 2 first, runs straight up to him. He's like, I'm going to crit you twice. I'm going to kill you. Get off this wave. And he shoves into the turret, and that's where Cali Trolls keeps losing CS. Because when Yasuo is right underneath your turret, and you're trying to CS under the turret, he's like, you want that last hit? Windwald. And then you lose two CS to it, and you keep doing that, and you keep shoving it in, yeah. and then you eventually get that lead slowly but surely, and we saw that in that game. Now, before we hop into our replays, one last thing is that Rush, so often we talked about his evolution as a jungler into the tank meta, you know, and sometimes resisting it here. Evelyn is a, is a pick that is, you know, definitely... Uh, it's meta now. Yeah, it's definitely meta. There you go. It's meta now. Across the regions, uh, builds that warrior enchantment on it, so he does have a little bit of that early game pressure and presence, and then is able to go full tank. So is this that that happy medium for him and a champion where he can be somewhat of a tank for the team but still put that pressure out early in the lanes? Yeah. Yeah. He's a crazy person. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, I love watching Rush play, and the Based on how well he did in the first split with almost no experience, the improvement he showed from the beginning of the split to the end of the split, the fact that he was the number one player in Korean solo queue, uh, just in a month, he went back, boosted his account all the way up there to number one, past Faker. Uh, I, we'll, we'll have plenty of time to talk about Rush this split. Yeah. I think he might be the best player in the, in the league. Oh, there it yeah. is. Well, with that, let's jump into both of our replays real quick here. The first one being a fight that did not go so well for Team Impulse, but is very reminiscent of some of the games we saw from them in the spring split in that when they were ahead, they started to get a little reckless in their, uh, in their movements around the map. So we're going to pull this one up on your screen. We're going about 20 minutes into the game. Ends up being a 5 for 3 in Teammates Red Side Jungle. Yeah, this was uh, Team Impulse playing a little impulsively right here. They already have Yasuo in the top lane. This happens. They go a little bit too aggressive oftentimes when they have a slight lead, and they are honestly punished in a couple of ways here. So first off, Rush gets destroyed early on, and Apollo takes a bunch of damage. So their main DPS sustained damage-wise, and Apollo is completely out of the fight, and he dies on the backside. But still, Team Impulse always feels like they can take the fight. They had a pretty nice combo up top with Shaoi Shao and Impact. But then even here, they should just realize they got out of a bad situation with decent stats. Respect the Nar bar. They were not really worried about a Mega Nar for some reason. And eventually, Cali Trolls cleans them up. That was actually 62.5% of teammates' kills for the whole game in that one fight when they <laughs> aced him. They only had eight for the entire game. So 
it was basically just off of Team Impulse going a little bit too hard, but it was only at the end of the day a 5 for 3. Well, and speaking of new champions, we see Slushy on that Ziggs, so he's gotten a lot of praise for his Oriana. Ziggs now with Eluden Zeko definitely, I feel, uh, fits with the way that teammate likes to play in their very teamfight-oriented uh, compositions. That's a champion that Slushy can kind of slot into. Now let's move on to our second replay. Not three minutes later, we find ourselves another fight. 23 minutes into the game in the mid lane. This ends up being a four for one in Impulse's favor and net them a Baron, which then you basically closed the game out from there. So we're going to pull that up on your screen. And Zyrene, you're going to take this one. Yeah, this is the fight that happens near the river. Just an amazing combo that comes out here from TIP. And the presence of mind, you called it a strategy at the start. I hesitate to call anything TIP does hey, a if, strategy. If at first you don't succeed, just do it better next time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so as we roll the clip out, you're going to see here the fish and the Yasuo ulti. And the fact that it just devastates teammate. Teammate, they won the previous fight. At this point, they're thinking, Yo, this is a really good fight for us to take. Rush is caught out, but then Sivir lets them catch up the, the two-man into the fish for four people and the wombo combo that just devastates them. Rush at that point was pretty much just bait for this team fight, and it was over just off of those two moves and it's cleanup duty afterwards. Yep. So they did it better that time. Yeah, I mean, it's always fun watching Team Impulse play in these team fights, especially when they ended up having like a double assassin style in what is a tank meta. They didn't even really have a, a true tank. Bomby Cinder does not make you a tank top lane. <laughs> what are you talking Come about? Come on, there's health on that. <laughs> Come on. And he bought it early. <laughs> yeah, it's tanky. But literally just watching them like scat around team fights as much as they could, like you couldn't really keep your hands on them. And anytime they wanted to go for a target, it was just a mob of quick damage that was yeah. going there. Yeah, absolutely. You had the cooldown boots on Fizz along with the Zonia, so it's hard to focus him with the Alistair Peel that you're getting, hard to focus him. Eve, that one of those champions that is inherently tanky if she can get a big enough ultimate off in that her, it scales with the number of people she hits. So very tough target selection there for Team 8. Yeah, and that's where you have to be on top of your game and what you're hitting there. And I know that Freak talked a little bit about Nien. When Nien gets on this team, he is a very, very vocal person in team fights. He is basically a shot caller of every team that he's been on since CLG. And he's like, I am team fighting AD carry. I point, I shoot, you guys help me kill this person. And I think that's going to help them shore up this little weakness that they had in this game where they seem just completely scattered and thrown off by TIP. Yeah, definitely a long split. They don't have to yep. face TIP every game either. Mm -hmm. So more coordination and maybe less of a crazy opponent next time. Yeah. All right, well, again, good win there for Impulse starting off their season 1-0. We'll see what happens when Nian gets back into the lineup for Team 8. Now we've got one more game coming your way. Up next in the hot seat, we've got Gravity as they take on the new kids on the block, Enemy Esports. Don't go anywhere. You have your shoes on? Put them off! What Adrian! <laughs> He's taking it off? <laughs> The shoes are off, boys. Right, the shoes are off. <laughs> the Kali trolls the hops, look, gets him out. But still, in comes Shao Wei. Shao, the damage is going to be good, but wow, Zig's damage is going to be massive as well. Not in a great way anymore. Impact putting out a whole bunch, but the Naruti is massive. Hits two, hops the wall. A triple kill for Solushi. No, 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 no. Flash. No, 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 no. No, no flash. No, no flash. Three seconds. Burn, 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 burn. Burn. Dope, okay, Baron. Baron. He's going to take down two. Fizz gets the kill on this one. Dodo forced to run. Hook's not going to matter. Rush gets his third. Kills going everywhere. GG 1-0 on the season for Team Impulse.